The stunning intelligence turnaround on Iran's nuclear weapons program comes as little surprise to the Pulitzer Prize winning journalist Seymour Hirsch. He wrote back in July of 2006 in The New Yorker about the lack of evidence that Iran was trying to build a bomb. Cy Hirsch is joining us now live here in the Situation Room. He also wrote an article in November of last year, 2006. The next act is a damaged administration less likely to attack Iran or more, in which you said there was a new national intelligence estimate circulating, suggesting they didn't really have a nuclear weapons program that was ongoing any longer. Exactly right. So what do you think? Well, I, I mean, if you knew that a year ago, or, you know, what does that mean? At the time, I wrote that, um, that there was a tremendous fight about it because Cheney in, in the White House, the vice president, did not want to hear this. So there was a fight about that intelligence. And actually, for the last year, I think the vice president's office pretty much has kept, you know, the vice president has kept his foot on the neck of that report. That report was bottled up for a year. The intelligence we learned about yesterday has been circulating inside this government at the highest levels for the last year and probably longer. And, and, but you were suggesting that there was a real run-up to a war developing within the administration, even as there were some in the administration, in the intelligence community, suggesting, hey, hold off, maybe they did suspend or freeze their nuclear weapons program. Of course, and I think it's still not over. I mean, because I want to press you on this. Does that mean now that there's new NIE has been released publicly, it is over the run-up toward a potential military confrontation with Iran? There's always Israel. But what does that mean? Well, it means that Israel can always decide unilaterally to take action or with us covertly. Uh, Israel objects to this report. I, I'm told that uh, Omar had a private discussion with Bush about it be, uh, during Annapolis, before Annapolis. Bush briefed them about it. The Israelis were very upset about the report. They think we're naive. They don't, they don't think we get it right. And so they have a different point of view, and this is a serious breach. Well, right let now. me ask you this. Uh, is it possible that this new NIE, because we know that the 2005 NIE was wrong, the 2002 NIE on Iraq, Iraq's weapons of mass destruction was wrong, is it possible this new one that's just been made uh, public, declassified, is it possible they got it wrong again? It's been four years since we've had any positive evidence of a parallel secret program to build a bomb. And we've been all over the country. One of the things that that that, that NIE that, that they finished last year, actually, that they were working on last year, uh, it was a result of a lot of covert operations. I also was writing about the fact that we had people on the ground inside. We checked every place we thought there was some uh, uh, secret activity, and we found nada, nothing. So sure, it's possible. Everything's possible. But this is. This is a pretty remarkable document, given the hostility to it inside the White House, that it's been made public. It's pretty amazing when you look at it uh, from many respects, and certainly from your respect. You, you probably feel vindicated. Uh, you know, you were hammered, uh, and we were hammered for giving you some airtime on, on Late Edition, our Sunday show. I want to play for you a clip with the White House Press Secretary, Dana Perino, said the last time you were uh, interviewed by me. Listen to this. Every two months or so, Cy Hirsch writes an article in the New Yorker magazine and CNN, provides him a forum in which to talk about uh, his article and all the anonymous sources that are quoted in it. All right, so you, you heard that from the White House press secretary, uh, and you know we went back and took a look at what you wrote more than a year ago, and you had some pretty good information in there. Well, you know, they also criticized me. If you remember, I went on your show repeatedly about Abu Ghraib. We did long interviews about it, and they were saying then, all uh, literally, a, a senior official said he's throwing, you know, crap against the wall to see what sticks. So this has been consistent. What's interesting here is the president's position. As you know, today in, in his news conference, he said he was only learned about this the other week. He said he only got the word from uh, Mike McConnell, the, uh, the national intelligence director, last week that there was, in fact, now a new national intelligence estimate, although last August he was told there's some new information. We haven't uh, vetted it. It's not yet confirmed. There may be some new information. He only says uh, he learned about the new NIE last week. Look, it's a lose-lose for them. Either he didn't know what was going on at the highest levels. The fight I'm talking about began last year. Well, I was writing about something in November, and also you mentioned earlier, they were aware of a big dispute inside the community, that is between the White House and the community about this. Now, maybe he didn't know what was going on at the vice presidential level about something that's serious. Um, if so, I mean, we pay him to know these things and not to make statements based on information that turn out not to be accurate, or else he's misrepresenting what he knows. I don't think there's any question this is going to pose a serious credibility problem. I assume people are going to be asking more and more questions about what did he know when. And his statement that McConnell comes to him, the head of the intelligence services of the United States, and says, I have something serious to say to you. And he says, great, let me know when I want to hear it. 
is, you know, uh, it's, it's his words, and we can only say that if that's true, you know, that's, that's not what we paid a guy to do. The, uh, 